lighting. Hold on. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes. Masculine and feminine energy, past, present, and future. Um, so my resume, I just woke up and got out of the shower. Listen, I was looking at a young lady on YouTube. This is very imperative because it happened to one of the the person I was dealing with. It happened to me. Older, if I'm spelling it right, older, older. I don't know if I spell it. Yeah, older. All right. I was looking at a young lady, young lady named Stephanie P. Smith. Witchcraft, black magic, symptom, and odor. This is really real. Okay. This is dealing with the body, the breath, you know, making your home smell really bad. This is the spirit that they conquer up to, to, to send to you. It comes through, like I was talking about the flies and the bugs that I be seeing. It comes through that way as well. This is black magic and witchcraft. Usually done when they go to, you know, witchcraft or they go to whoever that practice witchcraft and black magic. Could be Haitian, could be Mexican, could be any fucking body, all right? Um, the, these individuals have conquered up some kind of deity or some kind of spirit that's known to smell like the aroma because I picked it up on somebody not too long ago and I'm like, you know, you got some time of my attachment to you, but he couldn't pick it up himself. And I noticed that as well when I'm sitting in my living room, I'm going in the kitchen, I'm like, where's that smell coming from? It's these individual conquering up. I call them sewage. Marine sewage or sewage um, in the, um marines or sewage still those that don't below the bottom beneath the goddamn scum of the earth type thing a sewage uh um uh, um uh, made sewage made these individuals conquer up these type of deity spirits to put a smell or a foul odor towards you. Please look up Stephanie P. Smith, uh, witchcraft, black magic, symptoms, and odor. And this is exactly what they do. They're doing all kinds of remedies, all kinds of things with your picture, with your name, whatever, anything, anything. I, I told you before in my other video, these motherfuckers came in your, in, your, in your home trying to take a piece of your items. Because I believe the bitch don't have no bra, no panty, no socks, nothing. She's just straight up bum. Okay. So, this chick and them, they were trying to manifest off of me. Since I got my bra, I got this, I got this, I got this. So, let me come in there and, and then, you know, and touch it, grab and take and see if we can manifest. No, it didn't happen. It just backfired on their asses. Look. It fucks with your body, your skin, your body, your body, or your underarm, your vagina. Remember, I was complaining about the vagina part when I was sitting here. That's what they're cocking up. The spirit is a spirit that's a, attached, man, to some kind of thing. Not to you personally. It's sending it to the individual. That's why I, when I kept the other day, you would notice. I didn't know what it was till I looked at her video. The other, remember, what I said the other day, I kept smelling. If, Collective, you remember the other thing in my video? I said, I keep smelling this man and his, and his, and he smell like urine and pee and dirty clothes. And the other ones, this is the spirit that I'm picking up on. This is the spirit that these ind individuals is conking up and, and is in my present making me smell it. These are kind of the type of witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo that these people are doing, sending that shit to, uh, to me. Um, Stephanie P. Smith. Witchcraft, black magic, symptoms, and odor. A lot of y'all are going through that. A lot of individuals might not even pick up the odor. Like, I got senses so I can smell and pick up certain things, and they know that. So they'll play with it. I had my house smelling look crazy, like trash and, 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 and just nastiness. I, I had my vagina being messed with me. You know what I'm saying? I had smell other spirit. You know, it's disgusting. I had my breath being messed with. I had um, deity sending deities or anything, you know, messing with my feet. All kind of things. It's just a spiritual warfare. It's a spiritual warfare.
Now, back to what I wanted to say with the karmic, the female. I was in the bathroom. And I said, she must have did some glamour spell because he looking at her totally, a whole totally different person. I don't use makeup. I don't know how to use makeup. I use lip gloss, maybe eyelashes. I don't got it on right now. And if I don't, if I, if it was too, like, the pimple you would see, is I don't know how to use makeup. It's just naturally. I'm like, so what is this glamour spell that this person is doing? Because I was told that the man is looking at the girl in a whole different light now. Like, literally looking at the girl differently because it's not her natural, um, her natural beauty. She just uses spell work to, to get the, 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 the guy attention. So they told me to grab this deck, the Shadow Oracle of Shadow and Light. So we're gonna do this. Because when I picked it up, I was like, sewage. Sewage. So these, these low... Low vibe, low vibration, sewage people, sewage. So these are these are the things that's from the sewage, from from the the bottom of the scum of the earth. These type of things. So that's probably what she is. She probably yeah, that's what she is. That's what the fuck she is in the whole goddamn family, the whole goddamn family. Now it said made it sewage, sewage made it. That's what I got when I grabbed this deck and I got the download. It said. Sewage made it. You know what that means? This is people that look glamour, but they got a foul, funky. You know what sewage is. Now, picture the man being glamified. You can't tell it on the outside because it's camouflaged. Like the homeboy, he didn't, he didn't think it was coming from him. He thought it was coming from the hallway or the motherfucker in the building. And it was so funny because I was trying to decipher what that was. And yesterday I bumped into um, the young lady video for some pair of just scrolling young lady video. I was like, listen, this is my spirit guy. like, this is it. My ascendant was like, this is it. So he didn't, he didn't, he don't know until he don't know until I say, you know what it is. He didn't know. He swear he did. He did not know. And I picked up the Roma. I'm like, you got, and I said, I said to him, I said, you got some attachment to to you. He said, what? I said, you got some something that's attached to you that's smelly. He was like, nah, because he couldn't pick it up himself. He was like, nah. And I'm like, yes, because it, it happened more than one time. And I'm like, I'm like, yes, you are. He was like, nah, it's the hallway. It could be the hall. No, 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 no. It wasn't. He had something that he couldn't pick up his scent or the odor. Because I'm in tune and because I got senses, I can pick up my own goddamn aroma. And whenever I don't smell and, and some other shit, these people are conquering up, playing with shit that they don't know nothing about, trying to stick a, a funk to your home, your house, or to towards you. Not on you, but but around you. Because I, I, I picked that up yesterday. I don't know if I did a reading yesterday, but the day, the day before yesterday, I was sitting right here, and um, I was complaining about a smell, and this is what these sewage people do. I, I call them sewage because they're beneath the scums of the fucking earth, okay? they disgusting. They live in filth. They live in dirt. All right, that's what it is. These people play with these types of spirit and, uh, and um, deities and entities. You see what I'm saying? And these, remember the, the video that I said? These motherfuckers, uh, these creatures that be under the bed messing with you while you sleeping on, uh, while on the bed and having nightmares? That's exactly what they what it is. They're being attacked by this shit that they conquer up. Voodoo high priests think that if they are protecting themselves through these type of witchcraft and they are not. You witchcraft, you will warlocks, you you practitioners, you 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 what the fuck you are, high priest and high priestess in the neighborhood that do shit like this as as foreign. I don't give a damn you foreign or American. You are not protected. These things are gonna attack you. So collective. Go look up that. Is 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 a witchcraft? Is is voodoo's and hoodoo's and curses? They conquer up. Some of them use, you know, some kind of bow conquer up. The, go look at her video because I don't know if it's to that extent, but I know what I pick up that's not mine, and I know what they're doing. I know what I experienced when I was in 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 the presence of a company that was came over and I said it to him. I was like, listen, you got some attachment to you. I know what it smelled like in my own hallway or at these apartments. I know what it did smell like. It was on him or following him. And it happened multiple times, okay? It's the fuck that don't belong to you. It's around you. It's a 
spirit that they conquer up to, to throw it at you since she wants to smell good. I wonder what she smell like. I want her breath to smell stink. I want her vagina to stink. I want her underarm. I want her body odor. I want her to have a body odor. These are what these individuals be doing. Okay? I experienced all that. That's why I was like, what are you touching me for? It's because they're conquering up these deities, these spirits, to try to latch onto you, but they can't because of your life. All right? Let me get into the reading. Go look that up. I said it yesterday. I said this is a spiritual warfare. And they got nothing to do with nothing. They got everything to do with you, collective. All right? So, sewage, sewer. Because I look at the car when I went outside, it says sword. So I'm like, oh, creatures from the sword. The creatures in the basement. The creatures, the, the low life, the bottom feeders, the, 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 the scums of the earth, the, the, the nasty ones. And I seen mating. So this this person is, is lives in silk, but she her present is being present as she's beautiful. Disguise. See, the young man. That was in my present did not think he and she, the young lady was right on her thing. The young lady was right. Did not think he had any. He like, nah, it's not me. You know, it's not me. It's like, whoa, you got something on you, or you got something. In the, you know, you like, nah, that's not me. Like, he couldn't pick it up. And he was like, nah, it's a horror. I'm like, uh-uh, mm -mm, you got something on you. You got something for, for around you, following you. You got something. And that's exactly what I said. The next time came, I didn't really pick up what it was unless it kind of stuck with me and, and off, it, off of him. And it, then it was in my presence. So I had to do what I had to do spiritually and get back and get in my healing thing and but it's your neighbors it's that practice it's hoodoos and voodoos it could be mexican it could be haitian it could be foreign it could be american and it, it could be anybody witchcraft practitioner cheap um, um kitchen magic still with the same old season the same old motherfucking meats the same old shit doing the same goddamn thing carving up things that they don't not aware of sending the goddamn spirit to you to attack you in your home and they could use it to camouflage themselves and beautify themselves. Like I said, it, like I said, uncleanness is not godliness. Godliness, cleanness is not godliness. These type of people and, and, and entities and spirits are not godlike matter. And these people that conquer up these type type of spirits, because it is a spirit, it's unclean. They're dirty. They live in filth. Okay? So I know what I was talking about when I was going through these type of things. I just didn't know the, the names of it. So my guys had to, you know, guide me to a certain channel, certain videos, certain movies, certain songs, certain sign of synchronicity, and bam, it's coming to me. It's like, this is what it is? I'm like, yes, sir. Is this what it is? Yes, ma'am. Is this what it is? Yes, team. Is this what it is? Yes. Spiritual warfare. Let's get into the reading. It says, Amara the Men Menifin Allah Ola Hili. So, this could be somebody from a, a foreign country, it could be a Hawaiian, it could be a mixed race here. I told you about foreign Hispanics, foreign. So, this is somebody from a foreign, a foreign country that could be doing some kind of heal, healing or a healer or some sort. Every healer and every spiritualist ain't the same. You got spiritual people that into divination, into dark magic and doing that shit. You got spirituality people, some of them that dealing with dark black magic and, and cocking up spirit and deities as well, okay? If you ain't here healing, then it's some other shit. So whoever this is says Allah Haley, this could be a foreign or a Hispanic or something from a foreign country that they go away to go to heal themselves, okay? Or a, a, a country, a state, it's not a state, it's a country, a uh, continent that they go to, to to heal themselves, okay? That's what I'm getting. So it's a very of the divine hymn. Intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. So this is telling me that this person drinks a lot. Okay, it could, they could be attacking alcohol, spirits, or alcohol, spirits that attach to alcohol. Okay, they wanted this person to be intoxicated, or said this person was intoxicated. 
Or they wanted you to have distorted view. They didn't want you to know that they were sending um, entities to attack. When I be on here talking to y'all and I go through things, that's for real. These things be touching me. These things be touching your feet. Your hands. I said it. It's a reason why. Now they're playing with the odor. Now I know I wasn't bugging. You see what I'm saying? I know it wasn't bugging. So, in this case, is detox. Detox yourself. Go into this healing state. And that's why when you eat clean, when you clean up your act, these type of things cannot attach to you, attack you or attach themselves to you. They can never attach themselves to me. Never. Even when I'm partying or doing a little wine or alcohol, a little, a little champagne or a little hard liquor, okay, they still cannot attach to me. But they try to use things that you consume to have some kind of attachment to you. You understand what I'm saying? These people try to bring body odor to your your home, your house, your 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 living situation, your person. I told you, homeboy, I didn't say anything because I didn't know what kind of name it, it what it was. Now I know the name of the tracking thing when they try to send the bumps that come in and see it went away. You see, remember remember? It went away. It tried it right here, over here. All right? It, it, it's not, you know what I mean? And I know what that means. Paralysis, pari pari whatever the fuck that means, whatever. Now they want to attack your body, your breath, your home, especially your house, your home, your private part. Um, do forms of witchcraft, okay, and black magic. These are the kind of spirits that they manipulate, try to manipulate you, your energy, your emotion, to conquer up that so they can be able to use it to see whatever it is to you. That's why they tell me to stay calm. That's why they told me to not to react. That's why you told um you guys were telling me, you know, this. Stay still, be in peace because these people use your type of energy, your emotions, and, and conquer up some things so they can be able to use that to ascend that to you. So, thank you, Collective, very much. Or, um, those who are on your platform or not, positive uh, messages, those who are going through certain, certain things to let me know that it resonates, to let me know that you're on point. I appreciate that because then it's like, okay, I'm speaking on some things that a lot of people in general, because it's a general message. That it can relate to somebody. And you're not alone. Okay? That's what I, I appreciate that. So, um, it, it's, it's, it's a form of witchcraft. It's a form of black magic. They do around an individual. Because they have your name. They have your picture. Snap picture. Or something that belongs to you. Because like I said, they're always coming in my shit. And now I fucking know. And I'm going to do what that young lady gets her. Whatever. When she got her camera. Insert the thing in her lab. So I gotta get a, a new one. Because the other one broke. And post that shit on YouTube. And y'all gonna see motherfuckers coming in and out of, out of my shit. Thank you for that, baby girl. For that. Yup. You gonna see who it is. You gonna see that I'm not bugging. These niggas be lying so fucking much. She gave me an idea. You, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Instead of taking the whole thing to the police station... Or whatever, just keep some and put it online just in case you got people working in the in the police station or working in the authority and they notify them and telling them this and this and that and they might get lost in somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So I'm I'm learning and I'm getting having a backup or back on top of the backup. So these people think, watch what I what I do when I get my new shit. Watch. But catch these motherfuckers off guard. So, thank you, baby girl. Because I be watching y'all and I be learning. I don't just be watching, not learn. I be learning. It's really like, did you get the message yet? Did you get what, what she did? Did you get, what did you pick up the, the, the clues in the message? Did you get, I'm like, yeah, I got it. If, it, if, it, if I didn't, they will work with me, work with me, work with me, work with me. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, collective. You got somebody that wanted you to have, you know, a distorted view. They didn't want you to heal. They didn't want you to find out of what the fuck they was doing behind the scene, behind closed doors, in the basement. These fucking raggedy ass roaches in the basement and shit. You using flies to project or reject the, the fucking spirits. I've been saying that in my videos all this time. I just didn't know the name. What to call it. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, team. Thank you, Ascending. Thank you, universe, my higher self, and my ancestors. And a lot of these low vibing deities that they conquer is kind of helping me out because they're sick of these motherfuckers. 
They sick of these motherfuckers. So they try to use anything that you consume with. Meat, alcohol, cigarettes, um, liquor, wine. Even though, you know, they can't with it. With the wine and, you know, the wine is good to consume. But not too much of it. It's good for your, your blood. It's good for your skin. It's good for, you know, it's better than hard liquor. You know, even though I like hard liquor. You know, I told you about that in my other video. Um, anything they can attach something to you to manifest whatever outcome they're looking for. Baby, give me uh, some more cards, please. And I'm gonna take you on. We already, I only got two cards out. We already 20 minutes and 40, uh, 40 seconds in. It says, Wing Seer, you see clearly and you're clairvoyant. I told you, collective. Let's come. Uh, let's, let's go. Listen, you see, you are understanding. You know what this is. They use sex and did a rituals by you and your person through sex. That's why I had to cut that shit off. Sending spirit because sex, sexual energy is more powerful where you can manifest. Like they know that. And they use that. Sex. Yes. Lust. Because that it, 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 the, the, the energy behind it is so goddamn powerful. Being intimate that they use that to manifest and conquer up whatever it is that they're conquering up. That's what, yeah, that's why I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. And it might not be, like she said, it might not, like the young lady said, it might not, he might not be knowing, but then he does know and he don't know unless you say it. You want to say, because she said a lot of them don't know. Like when I told him, and I picked it up multiple times. I'm like, oh, I'm like, you got something attached to you that smell like you know, stick. I thought I don't. So they don't don't know. And I picked that up myself a few months ago when I went to the store. And I'm like, what the fuck is that smell like? Dead body or a, a dead corpse? And it was the scent was following me. And I know where it was coming from because it was coming from these people that was doing this, 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 this sacrifice with shit behind closed doors and they act like I don't know that shit. And they was using that sitting and shit and, you know, towards my place and me. And when I, once I'm like, yo, so you conquering up spirits. It's what they do all day. They never get no sleep, no nothing. They do this shit while you sleeping and shit. So now my sisters are picking up that, that spirit and I'm sending this shit right back to them. They're not protected. They don't know how to get rid of that odor. They don't. They try to figure out how, how, how do I do it? How do you do it? I'm telling them shit. They do they big and bad to conquer up this shit. They should be big and bad to know how to get rid of that shit. But my person, he know because, like I said, my gift and what it what it is, I do. And what it is, I'm protected by. And because you're a healer, they feel like, oh, we can sit. Don't say shit to me that I accept. And if I know, because I know he, he, not quite where I'm, where I'm at yet, and not quite protected like that. It's easy to to send shit to him. It's easy to manipulate him. It's easy to target this individual I'm speaking of, this young man I'm speaking of. So sometimes he'll come because it's like. I, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, sometimes I get sick and tired because I'm like, I got to deal with the aftermath of this shit. And it's not fair. But then again, it's like, because it's because it don't stick with me. It's just, they don't, they don't like, they don't like being around me. They don't, they're like, don't call me to come to her because I, listen, I'm not doing it. Okay. And I understand because he be around people so much. He just be around people so much. That's why. And they have a lot of attachment. But it's a lot of people that your neighbors, you know, like I said in my other video, you know, they be in their home, they be in their car, they be in their buses, they be walking by your house. You know, it, it just could be anything. These sewage bottom feeders. They conquering up shit. All right? And they throw it into, at your house. That's why it's very impressive to do a spiritual math. It's just simple. You can use your own herbs. Um, your own sea salt or acid salt or Himalayan salt or black black Himalayan salt. Your own uh, apple cider vinegar to take your spiritual blast with your attention and your own prayers. Or go on Google and look up, you know, cord cutting prayers. Um, go look up certain prayers that can protect you from these type of spiritual warfare. I mentioned the cord cutting with the young lady because she, she was giving me a... a 
in your story. And I said there's so many things online, but your attention and your belief in it, gotta have to believe in it for order to work and call on our angel Michael since she she believe what she believe in. I could have told her to go to, you know, the Egyptian goddess, but it really doesn't even matter. Everything is for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So Make it yours. If you want to put sage in it, you want to put essential oil, it's whatever. You make it. A lot of people, you know, online make their own thing and then sell it. That's cool. But if you have your own attention, you can make your own things in the comfort of your home with some candle, with some sage water, or some uh, burning uh, uh, incense with your little essence, essential oil, and your little herbs, whatever the hell you want to put it up in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Well, your apple cider vinegar or your sea salt, whatever, whatever. But make sure it's sea salt. Make sure it's Himalayan salt. Make sure it's, you know, black sea salt or black salt. You put it in to banish it, okay? There's a lot of things that you need to do to incorporate that in your in, in the warfare, especially if you're going through your ex or somebody from your past that won't let you go, that won't, you know what I mean? It's an imperative that you get on. Make sure everything is cleaned. Get on, get on your spiritual, put on your spiritual armor or your armor. All right, and go to war with these people. But in light, we walk in light, not not evil. All right, not dark. Okay, that's what I want to say. It's very simple. It's not complicated. Okay, it's not complicated. All right, set your intentions. Maybe you need to get a little sage. Maybe you need to get a little dragon blood. Red dragon blood. blood. Maybe you need to get a little um a net nettle and a burning. It's a it's not bad. Maybe you need to get a little black salt, sea salt, or black Himalayan salt, or red salt. You know what I mean? Sprinkle it on, on, underneath your bed, around your around your, your home, so it, you won't invite any uh, entities or any any uh, magic. But the core cutter is to cut things that no longer serve you, mentally, spiritually, physically, uh, any place, location, people, places, and things, lovers and exes, whatever that don't longer serve you. All right. Look on Google, look online. I got a lot of them online. Go go online. I will link something in my description. Or my comment section, just to get you a head start. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when you have entities attached to you, it's because it was attached to the individual, and you was open. You was open to to, to whatever. You're not like me, where you can recognize it, like you know, command these motherfuckers to get out of here. All right. Damn, I only got three cards out. Okay, see, so you see clearly, clairvoyant, a lot of you know what it is. All right? A lot of you know what it is. It could be from your family as well, all right? That's attacking you. That's that trying to bring you back into, you know, their situation. But they did so much fucking damage. A lot of them are toxic, okay? Let me get some more. Voodoo in blue. Back off. Can't make it up. Voodoo in blue. Back off. That voodoo hoodoo with had taxes and curses not working. You better command them motherfuckers to leave. Rebuke them, them motherfuckers. All right? In the name of Jesus or the name of whoever, whoever the hell you want to call on. Okay? You better rebuke them motherfuckers. Okay? And you know, I call my ascendants. You know? I ain't got to do all that. I ain't got to do all that. You know, if you want to say Archangel Michael, if you want to call on... Osiris, if you want to call or hire or Horus, and fine. If you want to call on, you know, Abba, go ahead, fine. If you want to call on or wishes, whatever suits you, whatever suits, suits you. Okay, voodoo in blue, back off. They make a voodoo dogs or voodoo dogs and cocking up spirits and entities and doing all kind of shit, cooking, 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 cooking kitchen magic. When they be stirring shit in the pot, I said that in my reading the other day. Yes, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. All right. So know these type of things. All right. Violet angel, breaking dawn, breaking dawn, breaking dawn. All right. Up. All right. It's breaking dawn. They up. Day, night, day, and night. Shit, I'd be surprised if these motherfucking is is out looking like zombies and shit. You see what I'm saying? Unbelievable. So, cord cutting, spiritual warfare is what everybody's going through. They know who we are. 
So if you ain't know who we are, why the fuck you fight fucking with my life if you don't like it? I don't understand these goddamn low vibrational deity demons. Because I call them demons. If you don't like my light, why they keep fucking with me? And I do curse in my readings. It doesn't make any sense. What else? Is, what, is, what is this? Fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. Yes, yeah, you're healing. You, you're nature. I don't like the way they, they did this, but the natural world needs you. Needs your gift. Needs your light. Needs your healing. But like I say, on this, on a detrimental of this person who's using the gift. Don't send these attack. And this person you think is going to accept it. It's not going to accept it. Because uh, the world against a few of these individuals out here that, that, that the world needs right now. All right? And it's people like healers that need to heal. You can't just every day, all day, you got something in you sit. No. No, if these individuals do not have to accept it, all right? So whoever you are, the natural world needs you. Fairy of the green world, the mother, the nature. Okay, I'm going to say the mother because we don't do that shit. Nature, the world, okay? Nature, trees, grass, earth, you know, remedies. You know what I'm saying? Your healing probability or whatever gift, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you do, all right? Collect this. It could be your light alone, all right? It says faceless ghosts and the uh, hunted girl, ghost people. I can't make this shit the fuck up. I, I knew it. They call them all ghost people. You know, the faceless people, okay? The one I was explaining about you, about the young lady was telling me about these type of people. You know, ghosts and shit, cocking up ghosts and spirits and shit. Faceless people, ghost people. You know what I'm saying? Look at these. Look at, look at this person. Look at this card. Look how she look. Look, look, look. With white faces. Look like zombies. It sort of look like zombies to me. You know what I mean? Look like she using sticks she in the underworld. Um, you conquering up some goddamn ghost and shit. And another thing I'm getting in, these people are seeing things now. Can't be scared of ghosts and spirits, man. You cocking up they, these asses. I'm not scared of them. You know what I'm saying? Now you're not now. You're in the dark. In the, in the, in the dark. Cocking them. Now you're seeing, now, now they're seeing things now. Now, now they're being attacked and shit. They don't like it. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're in a spiritual warfare here. It's called spiritual warfare. All right, and these demons and these fucking low lines and these fucking sewage meetings is at a day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night. Listen, motherfucker, these goddamn fucking spirits so goddamn tired of attacking me and getting mad at them. Like, you ain't doing nothing. You're telling us to get the fuck up out of here. You damn right. You don't belong here. It ain't mine. You see what I'm saying? It says, see, Beacon Fairy, guidance, but where where's, where, will it lead you? So you're, you're being guided to lead you somewhere, but where, where would it lead you to? You got to ask for guidance from the spiritual realm or from the spirit realm. Your God, your ancestors, your, your Cindy's, you know, whatever, they, whatever, whatever it is. You ask it for a certain thing, people like us, you see what I'm saying? So, um, guidance. But where will it lead you? You have no clue. These people, where will it lead you? What is your journey? Okay? I know some of, some of us got to fulfill our contract. What is it? Okay? Where will it lead you to? The unknown. Where? That's why you got to seek for guidance. The light is your protection, okay? The light, okay? To see where you're going. Where are you going? You could be going somewhere. You could walk right in the goddamn ocean. You think it's a land, but it's the ocean. This is the spirit of ocean. So this is a water deity. That's another thing. Water deity. Okay, I'm gonna live off. I'm gonna keep it short because I only got like a few cards, and I thought I was gonna go in, but I really don't need to. 
Yeah, it says strange valentine. Love is strange. So these people got love, strange love. They love this, 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 this creature. This creature. Fell in love with this creature or this creature fell in love with you. It's strange though. They love it. It's really strange. I don't understand it. They think that's love. It's not love. They don't know what love is. Love, so that what they love is evil. It's wicked. It's some strange shit. Love is strange. But they think love is strange. They think it is. But she's just a creature that fell in love. And this 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 this, this girl face look like, huh? Yeah, uh, huh? This, this creature fell in love. This creature fell in love. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it wants you to fall. Maybe the collector, maybe the creature wants you to fall in love with him. It. It's a her or him. It, it. Okay? I don't know. But the creature here, it got a heart. It fell in love. It can't do no harm to you because it fell in love. It, it opened up its heart chakra. It's strange. It feel weird. I think the creature feel like it's weird. Like, is this supposed to, is this how it's supposed to feel? Like, it might not even know how, how, how it's supposed to feel. Like, what is this? You catch your feelings? Oh, you, 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 you get feelings. Normally, these things don't have feelings. It says, sea storm, calm, and chaos. Calms and chaos. Chaos. Calm and chaos. Sea storm. Look at this. See that water? Calm and chaos. So what I'm getting here is one minute is calm. The next minute, the water is it's like a fucking tornado. So it looks peaceful. Calm and chaos. Get chaotic. What's on the bottom of that? Mend a broken heart fairy. Healing from heartache is what I'm getting. A lot of you guys are in this, uh, amending your broken heart. All right? You ain't with the rah -rah shit. You're just like, I'm tired of this. Whoever this creature is, whoever this monster is, leave me the fuck alone. All right? Whoever this bitch is, whoever this dude is, leave me alone. That's what the collector is saying. Your love is weird. Your love is strange. You don't want that shit. One minute is this. One minute is up there. One minute is down there. One minute is this one. Like, what the fuck? I'm tired of going this back and forth with you. But this is the spiritual warfare. These, are, these creatures need your light. They see all these cards of darkness. And you need a light. See, she just this person got a jack o' lantern on her, so she can't even breathe. <laughs> she getting the light from the bulb, from the goddamn lamp, the jack o' lantern. You know what I mean? The, the fucking lamp. Even in the sea is darkness. God damn. You see what I'm saying? What time is it? I, I gotta uh, do some. What time is it, y'all? Storm angel, collision of belief, styles, attitude, and energy. Yeah, that's what it is. They don't believe the same thing you believe. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, motherfucking well. Um, last time I checked, it, it ain't one goddamn belief system on this motherfucking planet. Okay. It's, and it ain't trying to make that a one a one world order. No, the fuck you're not. Not what I'm here. Okay. So, they, they don't have the same beliefs style, attitude, and energy as you. Of course, you they are from the bottom, bottom realm. They are low vibrational. Of course, the style is going to be different. Your energy is going to be different. Your attitude is going to be different. Of course, it's going to, or, um, the, your, your collision of belief is going to collide and, and be different. Of course. They believe in the motherfucking monsters and devils and shit. You might be believing in the goddamn universe and, and the higher power and Jesus and shit. High vibrational. That's why it don't mingle, it don't match. But for some apparent reason, these creatures fell in love. Ain't that some shit? They do you harm, they love you and they hate you at the same time. What the fuck? Little witches. Uh, magical space clearing time. 
So yeah, it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to clean up. Uh, spiritual cleansing, okay? Spiritual cleansing with that um, all our healing um, right here with the um, lady, all right? With the nature, the water, the plants, the herbs, whatever you got to do to heal yourself, all right? Is what I'm getting. You don't have to make it complicated because the universe ain't make things complicated, all right? It's make it simple as simple as as simplify as possible so you can be able to get in a routine to keep doing this over and over so you can make it a habit. So when it's a habit, you automatically know how to do it. All right? What else? And I'm going to close it up because we're in 40. Mm, mm. Out trick or treating. We're here. Oh, they're telling you they're here. Oh, uh, they they here. They they letting you they letting us know. They letting the world know they here. We already know that. We you out trick and treating. It says out trick or treating. We're here. So these they want to let you know that they're here. We already know. Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. So it says autumn is my last chance. These people are not trying not to lose hope, okay? Or whoever you are. Can you, can, can, can Damn. Study. It says please don't lose hope, okay? So keep the hope. Keep the faith alive, all right? Healing from heartache here. Working too hard. You could be working too hard. Glamour. Intrigue. Or drama. Marie. Me, me, uh, masquerade. So this person is using glamour. So it's glamour, intrigue, intrigue, and drama. This person is about drama, all right? The looks and all that other good stuff. I was just talking about that the other day. It says snow angel. The signs are with you already. So, yes, you're picking it up. Your intuition is right, right on point. I am Kali. From death comes rebirth, all right? So, you're in the things to so bring forth something new, all right? Three witchy sisters, the power of three, okay? The power of three goddess, the moon goddess, if you want to say so, all right? Is what I'm getting. The power of three sisters could be involved. It could be three sisters of witchcraft or three... Uh, in some kind of occult, okay, so three women, they feel like it's more powerful, you know, to, to execute their, or three sisters, or a group situation, or a cult situation, all right, it's what I'm getting, that's dark, it don't have to be, it can be good wishes or bad wishes, all right, take your resonance, which at the end of the world, and the point in, in a new beginning, in a time clock, all right, it's an hour clock, all right, it's what I'm getting, so it's like, it's like an ending in a rebirth, ending in a rebirth, Fairy of the Highland, it's time to be brave and stand up, all right? Sewer Mermaid, your sexuality is beautiful. Look how Sewage Mermaid, you see how disgusting this is? But the beauty of this mermaid, this is how these big creatures are, all right? You want to smell a funk, unless you, because they, they, they're a part of that, so they can't pick up it. All right, you lay somebody with a dead feces or dead corpse for a long time. Eventually, they're not gonna pick up that scent. Eventually, first of all, they go, they are, but throughout time, they're not gonna. They don't, they don't see nothing wrong with this. The funk, so which is disgusting. But this creature, sure, sure, suck you in and like I don't smell anything. And and and, 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 and beautiful glamorous but I don't smell anything. That's disgusting. We on a spiritual warfare, all right? Put your warrior uh, armor on, all right? Whatever your battle outfit, armor, whatever the hell the case may be. When I say that physically, spiritually, mentally, prayed up, or however you do, all right? Um, Because it, it, it's really real. It's a spiritual warfare going on. Put your armor on. When I say your armor religion, that means your Bible, your book, or spiritual, means your, you know your words, okay? And as, as well as physical armor as well, all right? Peace.